An Oahu jury has found a man who set fire to the Hawaii Supreme Court last year guilty of arson. Eric Strove was captured on surveillance video in May of 2021, lighting the double koa wood doors of Ali Iolani Hale. The blaze scorched both doors and burned through the carpet and security access station, causing more than $855,000 in damages. Strove is now being held at the Oahu Community Correctional Center. His sentencing is scheduled for October. If convicted, he could face up to 20 years in prison. Kailua youth sports coach was sentenced to 20 years in prison yesterday and 15 years of supervised release. Ryan Ishikawa was found guilty of producing child pornography between 2012 and 2015. The Hawaii U.S. attorney says Ishikawa used a hidden cell phone to videotape six children between the ages of 9 and 11 in the bathroom of his home. All were children of his friends and kids he coached. A man accused of assaulting and robbing an elderly man on the Big Island appeared before a court judge today via teleconference. Chad Armitage Jr. waived his right to a preliminary hearing today. He's accused of beating a 68-year-old man in downtown Hilo on Sunday, leaving him unconscious and bleeding along Kilauea Avenue. That man was taken to the hospital in critical condition and later transported to Queens Medical Center on Oahu. Armitage is being held at the Hawaii Community Correctional Center on $75,000 bail. He's scheduled to be back in court July 28th. On Maui, prosecutors have charged a haiku man with murder. Police say 51-year-old Mike Parisian remains in custody with bail set at $1 million. He's accused of killing 54-year-old Stephen Holm. Police found Holm's body inside a haiku home on Tuesday. A woman who employed Holm for several years called him a sweet guy who was full of life, hardworking and cheerful. Court documents show Farisian is also charged with allegedly assaulting an elderly man earlier this month in a separate case. Kauai police today identified the man killed in a vehicle crash in Wailua as 21-year-old Dalton Burke. The police department says he was driving his truck along Kuamo'o Road early Wednesday morning when he hit an embankment on the shoulder and rolled over. He was transported to the hospital and pronounced dead shortly after. Investigators believe alcohol played a factor in the crash. This is the island's sixth traffic fatality this year.